Hello everyone. I wanted to show everyone my 11 plate cell. Uh, I was having a lot of problems with it overheating and it, it warped my box and started leaking. Uh, putting out way too much heat. I did get about 600 milliliters a minute out of it. So I just wanted to show everyone what I was doing. Um, same design as I've been using. 11 plates. 3 positives. 3 negatives. Neutral in between each one. Heats up a lot. real reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanted to show everyone my new cell. What I've done here, I've taken some advice from some people on the internet and what I've what I've done is I've created five cells in series so that I could uh, drop the voltage down on the plates and uh, so I wouldn't heat up. Um, what I've done on this one is I've got each one of these each one of these pairs is a separate cell. There's a pair in between each one of these oversized nylon switch plate covers and I've hooked them together so this positive comes in here later comes out goes to the next cell out to the next cell out to the next cell out and the negative comes out here I've taken measurements on the with my voltmeter on each cell I'm getting about 2.7 2.8 right in there all the way across but it's not producing much not nearly as much as uh, my brute force cells that boil water so I want to set this up and show you uh, show you how it works okay we're all set up here um, my solution is it's about a gallon of water. I've uh, got about four teaspoons of electrolyte in it. It's trying to get the amps up. Um, the battery is at. Thirteen, about thirteen volts. Okay, I'll hook it up. Like I said, it doesn't do a whole lot. And this is where the frustration comes into me for me. On the first pair, in 2.68 volts. On the second pair, two point four two third pair 2.4 hold on it's hard to do with one hand 2.41 next pair 2.4 
2.46 the last pair 2.61 according to what everyone's telling me this is efficient it shouldn't be creating any heat but It just isn't producing a lot. So my question to everyone is, how do I improve this? I think I want to make the gap in between the plates just a little bit smaller. I've got some uh, fiber washers that are about a these here, they're real thin. I'm gonna try those. Oh, by the way, there's the amp meter. It may might be pulling one amp. Now, when I increase the voltage, I can turn my battery charger here so that it's charging at 10 amps. Increases the voltage. Then it starts to put out a little bit more. Not a lot, but a little more. Then, so I've got 14.55 volts. The first cell is at 3. Second is 2.83 2 2.77 2.78 uh, 2 Fourth set Point eight three. The last set. Two point nine eight. So just increasing the uh, voltage, volt and a half. Gives about three times much as much production but still not a lot I'm not going to put this on the tester I don't, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot I'm, I'm going to guess just by looking at about a hundred milliliters a minute Well, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing. Still looking for the best cell to put in my neon. Haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Thanks for watching.